Oh my goodness, look who it is. It's all of y'all. How the heck are you guys? I miss you. I miss, isn't that weird? I don't even know because I'm the one that's always doing all the talking, but hey, how you been? It has been a minute. It has been an hour. It has been a couple of months if I'm not wrong. Anyway, how's it going? How is everybody? Uh, it's good here. Been off the charts with just doing stuff, getting my house in order, um, talk to you about this, some stuff going on here. Um, I wasn't going to say anything until, my goodness, it is right there on the camera. This is actually a cyst on my thyroid that I have to go get a biopsy of this month, September 1st. Had to wait three months to get that scheduled. But anyway, other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Um, working crazy at the hospital and we're doing good. The interpreting team is doing fantastic. Everything has been going really well and I'm sort of like, what the heck's going on? I'm scared to, to curse it or hex it or anything, but um, I hope you're all good. Please catch me up on what you've been doing. I am actually here with a stitch fix and I haven't done an unboxing in forever. Whatever my last video was, I can't even remember, was it my last trunk, I think, when they stopped doing trunks, which is very sad. I do miss them. Not horribly, but I do miss them. So here we have our stitch fix. We're going to get right to it uh, while we still have sunshine because it's starting to get darker earlier again. Um, how has your summer's been? Oh, this is looking like a big bag. So I wonder if there's a giant thing in here. We're going to find out, although the bundle doesn't look too bad. Um, it has been like horribly humid here. And if you remember, I'm from Southern California and I love the heat. I love that dry heat. What I don't love is this Eastern Coast humidity. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I don't know how people stand it. But anyway, let's get to our bundle. Ooh, this is uh, something thick in here. Cool colors, looks like some fall colors. I'm stoked about that. Um, a couple of my most recent boxes, I did get an excellent wantable. I was wishing that I had done an unboxing because it was one, I think, of the best boxes I have ever gotten. It was a little bit more expensive. It was over $400 for seven pieces though. And then with a the discount, it was of course less, but um, better, 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 better. I ended up keeping two things because I had size issues and unfortunately they didn't have a lot to exchange for. So I was still very happy with those two pieces, which I'm sure you'll see at some point. Um, there one is, a fall piece, the other is more of a kind of transition piece, I guess, summery-ish, but the colors are darker. So let's see what we got in our Stitch Fix, which I have gotten a couple I was saying, you know, still scattered as ever. Um, just like that. I have been getting a couple boxes that I didn't film and I just haven't been down with that. I haven't had the energy. I've been so focused on work and so focused on so many other things that you know, doing an unboxing is sort of like, what are my priorities right now? So this is mostly just for funds. We'll see what we have in here. Um, uh, I have my invoice style card, invoice, note from my stylist. And I do get these every three months instead of monthly. And I'll probably extend them because I haven't been kind of after all these years of getting Stitch Fix, I know I'm still chatting. Everybody wants to see the stuff I get, I got here. So let's just stop with the chatting. Um, all right, first up, looks like a pair of brown pants. Just some pull-on pants. Oh, I'm not sure if those are actual pockets or not. Oh, there's something in this pocket. It's a surprise. Um, it's one of those little... Um, gel things so things don't get moldy or rusty or whatever okay so those are kind of cute just some little pull-on pants they're a little bit heavier than a legging some back pockets we'll see how these look with anything else that is in here um, next up 
something dark blue. Looks like another pair of pants. Okay, super cool color. Oh, the zipper's on here. These look like cuts. Okay, these are by STS Blue. That's a small size, not sure if those are gonna fit, but these are a nice dark navy blue, nice fall color. Those are some nice pants. Do not have pants this color, at least casual pants. Next, ooh, we got sweaters. We got lots of sweaters. I think I probably asked for that. Okay, nice, thick, heavy sweater. I like this sweater already. I'm not super big with buttons on my sweaters, but I don't mind them on the shoulder. There's a little bit of a military feel to that, and I really like this. Um, it's, um, I would call it a light black, dark gray. Nice color, nice sweater. Love this color. I don't know what this is, but I love this color. Oh, this is, I think, their cashmere one. This was a rust colored cashmere sweater. I fell in love with it. I think they, she at first put two in my box. And what I don't understand about Stitch Fix is, you know, when they send out your, hey, buy it again. No one will know. And it's like, why do I want the same shirt, but in a different color? Why do I want multiple of the same styles? I don't understand that. But I believe she put in a black one. I already have a black cashmere sweater in this color. And I said, okay, I think these were like a hundred bucks. But I wanted to see the quality of it. Uh, I do love the color and I'm glad that's in here. Last but not least. Okay, this is not what, this is something I'm not hip on. I do not really like buttons on my sleeves. This is what I was pretty much referring to. And this looks kind of short. Look at this. I'm falling all over the place. This looks kind of short. There's my waist where my belt is. Well, it's a little bit lower, but, and if I pull it up with my shoulder, that is pretty short. So, okay, guys, that's my stitch fix for the month of September. Let's see how we're doing with our is our style card. There's that cool looking sweater. Okay. Hello again, Desiree. Well, hello, Allison. It is Alice. And I think I had Allison last time. I usually just pick the same stylist. Welcome back to your 67th fix. I appreciate you taking the time to look through the fix preview. I am so glad that you were able to find a few fall staples that you wanted to try because you do have a preview now with them. Um, I am ready to get you set for this cozy and fashionable I ahead. Okay, I am ready. Well, I saw that you snagged the STS blue pants. I thought I would add the tribal trousers as a fun alternative. That must be the, the brown ones. Tribal is a brand. Uh, it will pair so well with the general good sweater that I added. I love the button detail. To each his own. Have fun mixing and matching and be sure to keep your helpful feedback coming, Allison. Okay, super cute stuff. And I love their style cards because I often have a lot of these basics and staples. And let's look at our cost. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that crew neck is a hundred bucks. So total 313 by all five goes down to 234 minus my 20 is 214 for five pieces. I don't have the time, 40 something a piece not bad when you factor in that cashmere sweater okay so let's get on to this because i think it's just sticking out like a sore thumb all right so i'm sure you guys have noticed in some of my past videos i <clears throat> have done a lot of throat clearing and i have something called silent reflux or lpr laryngeal and what it is it's like acid reflux but it doesn't burn so that's why it's called silence. It just seems to cause a lot of <coughs> throat clearing, let's just say. Um, and it got to the point where it got really, really bad. And I had, I had previously seen an ENT about it. And he said, yep, you've got it. Take this. Well, this didn't work. So I just sort of, a couple years ago, I started suffering through it. And then earlier this year, it got really, really bad. Like I'd be in the middle of interpreting and I couldn't, 
it was embarrassing. You know, I keep going, <clears throat> and poor patient is going, are you okay? I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> all the time. So, anywho, I went back to the ENT, and, um, because uh, the old ENT had retired, and he said, maybe it's allergies, and I said, mm, I don't know, then he did the scope, and he's like, yeah, you're really irritated, he'd go back to taking the Prilosec. So, I started on the Prilosec again, and I had a really, really bad fit a few days after, like bad, like coughing and clearing my throat so hard, it was straining my neck. So I got up one of the mornings that I was having this and I saw this lump right here. Never been there before. It just like came up and I thought, oh my gosh, I must have pulled a muscle in my neck or something. And this was on a uh, Friday. And at the same time, I'm like, that just doesn't feel right. So I immediately called my doctor, went in to see my doctor. She's like, yeah, that is something on your thyroid. Sent me for the next day for an ultrasound, got an ultrasound. They did an ultrasound. You said, they said, you have a really big cyst on your thyroid, which freaked me out. And she said, you know, I don't know if it's cancerous. I don't know anything. We have to get a biopsy. So this was actually back in July. And I was not able to get in to get this biopsied until the middle of this month so just want to ask for all you guys to keep me in your prayers that this is nothing it's just a it is a fluid filled cyst the issue is it's a big one i mean look at that it really stands out and it's very very much there to me um so i had to not ignore it while you guys are going what is that i know somebody once said you have something on your neck over here that you should have looked at i so appreciate her pointing it out but this just right here is a wrinkle and isn't that kind of funny that now i have this which i'm guessing that person probably would have noticed this too okay enough about me so that's what's going on please keep me in your prayers it's not till the middle of this month 16th 17th or something i'm not Looking forward to it. It's just a, a needle biopsy. They're just going to stick a needle in there and drain some fluid, which may be all they need to do. And then just keep an eye on it. Or, you know, they may want to remove half my thyroid or all my thyroid, which I am really not down to. I don't want to be without a thyroid, and I do not want to take thyroid medication. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Um, I'll get to trying these on in a bit. Good to see you guys. You know what I mean. All right, so I know y'all watch me because of this amazing lighting I have. Ha ha. Um, okay, so I'm wearing the Tribal Fia Straight Trouser and the, the General Good Citra Button Sleeve Detail Sweater. And I did leave my shirt I was wearing on before because I knew this was going to be really short. And it feels really short. So if I put this up here it's not so bad but you can definitely see how short this sweater is um it's you know it's a cute it's a warm snuggly sweater and again it's just a little short and a little fly away for me can you see the pants okay um which is unfortunate because if this was longer, like even here, and it didn't have the buttons, this would be a definite yes. Right now, it's just kind of like a, um, eh, I don't know. Anyway, the pants, the pants fit great. They are brown, believe it or not, even though you can't tell in my amazing atmosphere here, but they're a little bit of a short ankle. I love them. They're comfortable. They fit amazing. Excuse my granny panties. But these are really cute. I mean, they could be like super versatile. They fit me well. They're sort of a, a medium rise. I'm not sure. Like I said, these... Okay, the pockets are just sewn shut. So there are slash pockets here. These really are a cute pant. Okay. Okay, so here we go with the cashmere sweater. It's a 41 Hawthorne Rella cashmere crew neck for $100. Um, it's perfect. I mean, it fits perfectly. It's not really heavy like cashmere sweaters are not really heavy. Let's 
fits me well. Uh, this is about the average price of, wow, this makes me look like I got boobies for some reason. This is about the average price of a good quality cashmere sweater. Look how it's bunching up under here though, compared to over here. Are we, I don't know, I'll have to really look at that, but I love this color. It's a rust color, it's a beautiful fall color. And I probably have already a regular sweater this color, but you know, cashmere, built to last and um, very warm when you layer it. There is a seam kind of thing in the back. Do you see that? I don't know if that's a goop in the stitching or just part of the style. I will have to do some investigations on this sweater. Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I'm wearing the Pink Clover Carson Crew Neck Button Sweater for 48. I forgot to do prices on the others just because they will be down below and I'm tired of being repetitive. And then I'm wearing the STS LE Pants Skinny High Rise Utility. And um, I think they're a little snug in the lower leg, but here we go. They're definitely high rise. These remind me of my cut from the cloth camel pants. So yeah, they fit pretty good. I love this sweater. I love this sweater with the the buttons here and it's a nice uh, weight sweater it's a beautiful color it's soft it's a uh, I don't know what this yarn is it feels like a mohair a little bit but yeah this is a really nice sweater this is a definite keeper on the sweater there we go <laughs> um, beautiful charcoal color dark gray um, I'm not super sure about the pants because they are very tight in the knee and here. I mean, I really got to like pull them up, but then the waist is fine. So I'm not sure, but I do like the length. I like the color. I like the pants probably, you know, sitting around, they would get stretched out, but this is really cute. I think I'll be back. Can you see the color of these? I love this color blue. What color are they calling this? This is a uh, navy. <laughs> okay, all right, I will be right back. Okay, so this was such a good fix. Legit, there's nothing in here I don't like. This is one of the best boxes I think I've ever gotten, even though the pieces are very basic very solid as far as color, not a lot of pattern, not a lot of bling. I just really like this. This is perfect for work, for casual, for whatever, for winter. Um, I, I, I would definitely keep that cream colored sweater to get the discount. So everything for 214 for five pieces, I don't think is very bad, especially with the three sweaters, the cashmere, pants are fine the pants are good they're very versatile um, I'll just have to go through this and well tomorrow's payday so that helps hey anywho um tell me what you think should I keep them all I don't know we'll go through we'll see what I can do um, but yeah this was a great fix really really nice hope you guys are well uh, catch me up to date with what you have been doing in the boxes below box a box there's not even a box below and let me know how your summer has gone if you've gone anywhere if you've traveled anywhere if you've done anything um, I haven't even gone home this summer to see my family or mom I'm gonna have to wait till the holidays because of all the travel issues and just one thing after the other but let me know how you're doing okay good to see you guys